best part. Mmm! 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 Oh my god, this is so good. Mmm! I'm so happy. Chicken thighs and mushroom sauce. I've dreamt about this for years. If you do not like thighs, this is about to change for you. For today's recipe, we're gonna be using about two white onions that are finely chopped. You can also go ahead and add in your garlic. I used about four cloves of garlic. I also added in fresh black pepper. We also have cayenne pepper. I love my food spicy. We also have one sprig of rosemary, which I finely chopped. I also have thyme as well, which I finely chopped as well. And finally, we have the stock right here, which is one chicken cube. I'm gonna be adding in hot water in order to make it melt. Apart from that, we also have corn flour, which is about two tablespoons. And the beautiful thing about chicken thighs is they need a little bit of love and a lot happens. We're gonna start with salt and pepper on the chicken thighs. I'm not going too crazy on the salt, mainly because of the fact that we also have a chicken stock cube that we're gonna be using. I'm also gonna be using cayenne pepper, which is very important for the color that we're looking for, also for the heat as well. And once we've added salt and pepper plus the cayenne to our chicken thighs, we're just gonna mix that up. We are also going to be drizzling just a tiny whiny beat of oil onto this. Here's what I'm gonna say. Chicken thighs contain a lot of oil, just in case you may not know, or a lot of fat. So when you add the oil, don't go too crazy with it. And now that we've marinated these thighs with salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper, let's get onto the stove and cook. Our pan is nice and hot. We're gonna add in about two tablespoons of cooking oil. We're gonna add in our chicken thighs. So we're just trying to get the skin crispy on the outside. So we brown the chicken on each side. I'm just gonna take those out and set them aside. In the same pan, we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions. And we want these onions to, of course, get soft first. Now you don't wanna clear out the pan because all of this good stuff at the bottom here is fond. As the onions are softening, we're gonna go in with our mushrooms. Now this is about eight button mushrooms that I've cut. We're also gonna go in with half of our rosemary sprig, some of our thyme as well. And we're just gonna cook the mushrooms until we start hearing like a hissing sound, which means their moisture is, of course, releasing. I'm gonna go in with a pinch of salt, or rather two pinches of salt, some of this garlic. We're only cooking the garlic until you start smelling it, which is pretty much fragrant. And that's for like 30 seconds. And now we're gonna go in with our corn flour. You can use all-purpose flour if you do not have corn flour. Corn flour is a lighter flour. And on top of the corn flour, we're gonna be adding in our chicken stock. And we just want this to start thickening up. So we are gonna move things around and scrape off the bottom as well. Like I mentioned, at the bottom here, there's fond, which is a ton of the flavor that the chicken has left. I'm just going to be adding in some more corn flour to help it thicken up some more. And for every single time I add corn flour, I'm gonna be adding in our chicken stock that we melted earlier. Now we're gonna go back in with our chicken. At this point, you can go in with more rosemary. We're also gonna go in with the rest of our garlic. And we're also gonna go in with our thyme. We're just going to let the chicken thighs simmer through until they are cooked through and then we can serve. So I'm just gonna cover this in order for the chicken thighs to cook through for a few minutes, about eight to 10 minutes. And it's on really low heat as well. It's been about eight minutes. At the four minute mark, I took off the cover in order for the sauce to bubble 
course and get thicker. And now it's been about eight minutes. Sauce is thick to my liking. If you want it thicker than this, the good thing is you can let it keep bubbling. However, just keep bubbling it on low heat and also add in a little bit of salt just in case it needs it. And now that it's ready, let's go ahead and serve. This is my most favorite part. This part right here, we get to taste one. I'm so happy this is my job. Mm. What the doctor ordered. There's no more meat though. <laughs> mm. As I usually say, bodied. You want to body this meal too, okay? You want to lick your fingers too. So do that. Make this recipe. Tag me. Hashtag is Miss Manly Throwdown. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know which herb you like to add. Is it rosemary? Is it thyme? Is it oregano? Is it sage? Whatever it is that you'd like to add, let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, between time though, once you try this recipe, oh yeah, hashtag is Miss Mandy Throwdown. But share this recipe with somebody who loves themselves. Some chicken, some mushroom. It's easy to achieve. All you need is a little bit of time. It's not a lot of time. And thighs. In the meantime, stay delicious.